Hey there, you trippers. I'm Zinju Train 11. And that? Well, that's just a seed. That's nothing exciting. It'll be exciting if they release the Kraken. Release the Kraken! <laughs> How's it going, YouTubers? Not much. Just enjoying this beautiful, glorious sun of some flowers. Yeah! Flowers! Ha ha ha! Now, about that. Now, basically, um, my mom and my sister have gone on holiday. So, basically, me and my bro are babysitting the house until they get back. screen and I'm smudging it. Uh, so I thought we got a day to come out here, enjoy the beautiful sun and the wind as well because when it gets hot you've got the wind. So this is even better and now my hair is blowing out. Should go in this way so that way don't go with it. Oh, there we go. Oh, seagulls. Yeah there we go. I feel like some sort of gay Dude with a messy hairdo. Oh, stop. <laughs> Don't do that. So, yeah, uh, what is it I want to talk to you guys about? Oh, yes, yes, basically, this and this. Uh, as you may have not noticed, there is there's an up-to-date status. No, not up-to-date status. Um, there was, I had this theory on a certain character, Toby, from Naruto Shippuden. Now, let me explain to you about it. This may contain some spoilers, but this is a theory, so everyone's got their different ideas and all that. So let's start off with the Sharingan Eyes. At the start of Naruto, you've been le told that, you sh well, shown an example that both Itachi and Sasuke can do both, this is in Shippuden, can both do Genjutsu and Physical. So basically, uh, for Itachi, it was Tsukiyomi Nisai. Amaterasu Yavai. Fair enough. But it actually didn't explain, didn't say anything about all the Ichiyas have that same move. Perhaps someone else did. Well, okay, fair enough then. You may explain. Give me one good example. Kakashi Sharingenai. Do you remember the episode where Toby gave his Sharingenai to Kakashi? Well, his jutsu is a it's called Kumai, which basically sends people to another dimension. That's not a Genjutsu, and that's not a Ninjutsu. Well, it's a, it is a Jutsu, but it's non... And I think it is a Ninjutsu more than a Genjutsu, but... Hear me out. That move is a space-time Jutsu. Because it is bending the space depending on where you want to hit it. For example, he, um, Kakashi used it on Didawa, took his entire arm, and... Send him somewhere else in another dimension. Just still there somewhere. But no one gives a crap about ID Tower. Anyway, so moving on. So then you may be thinking, okay, fair enough. But does that mean that Obito, Obito's shutting in abilities was space time? Well, if he would have been alive and had both. And, yeah, if he was alive, yes, he would. Because, listen to this. In, from Toby's ability, he had the Sharingan as well, but he basically can have the ability to move through objects, send him into another dimension, just not like basically far away, but up close. But that's not. He can actually move into any one's attacks. Like say, for example, some uh, Naruto uses a range Sharingan on Toby. He can go through it. He can go through that by materializing it. That's a space-time move as well. So when you look at it, if you look at it, both those eyes were connected. That's why Kakashi was able to hit him. But you see, Toby stole Obito's eye. That's why both of them were connected. That's why Obito was played in, in the first place. Let's go up and move a bite. See, that is why Obito is not Toby. Because if he was Toby Obito, he would have used Get Mon Geki Sharingan, which one of my friends said. But that's not true. That is true. But that's not Ob Obito. So then you're asking, okay, fair enough then. What about the scene where Toby fought against Kano and it's shown both Sharingans? Well, that is a good question. This one was a puzzle that I need to work out. But this is a hunch, so hear me out if this is actually true. 
only two two options for Toby to do that. Toby could have been an Uchiha, but he could be Madara and Asune's master, hence why hence why they known each other. Could be. He could be the son from the Sage of Six Paths. That is true. Because it didn't say did he manage to survive or anything like that, they've just been told that um, he had two sons. One did for good, one did for power, and that's just where we came from. Oh look, water and seaweed. And and rubbish. Terrible, terrible rubbish. And then we got some rocks in this side. You know, strangely enough, the rocks can can easily remind me of the hidden stone village. If it's being built here in like a mini figurine. That would be quite good to see. I will have to see someone built an art and using our stones. But yeah, back to the Fury. So you could be an Uchiha, but a very old descended one. Or, number two, he could be another character that we've never even encountered that collects Sharingan ice, like Danzo, only he doesn't have him in his arms and all that, which confirms that he's not Danzo. So it could be an Uchiha or someone else. That's my theory. And it's actually quite a good solid theory, because I was right about the whole Obito's eye because he took it during the third ninja war at the Bridge. Yeah, he went! It's crazy, I know. But there's only one thing we need to find out, and that is to get now to, to break that freaking mask so we can see who he really is and he can explain to us who he is, why he's doing it, and all that kind of shit. Because honestly, I need to know the suspense is killing me! Flaming Genova! Look, even the seagulls are trying to figure out who Toby is. The sky's trying to figure it out. The ocean's trying to figure it out. Even the bloody rocks are trying to figure it out. If they were alive. Oh! <laughs> Aye. So that's my theory on Toby. Toby, so basically, that means that Obito is a space-time user. Because when you think about it, if he was still alive and still had those shurikens, he would be one deadly shinobi. The ability to move through attacks while sending them to another dimension is one scary. But like I said, we have to find we will figure them out soon. It is getting to that bit. Toby's mask will be revealed, who he really is, and then we can all just go happy days and just go kill ourselves for wasting our time waiting for that suspense. I'm joking. No, don't kill her because I know that some people who still want to know who will win in a fight between Sasuke and Naruto in the final battle and all that. I say they're both gonna die. Just let them both die. Because honestly, if they, if those two love each other very much, they can pretty much just go kill themselves and go into an oven after life and all that chiz. So that's basically about it. Uh, birthday shout out to Nathan, my good friend Nathan. If he's watching this, Nathan, hello Nathan, hello. Uh, just to let you know, it's not Nathan as in another Nathan. This isn't Nathan, Avenge Sevenfold friend of mine. He's a good, he's a good, he's a good friend. He's crazy and he's deadly in Naruto generations too. I didn't get a chance to beat him. The guy in the third place, Carl, tried to beat. So yeah, I'm going to go here. So leave a question or theories on that because I would love to hear your theories on Toby. And also, if you have any questions, please, please, please post them on my Tumblr page, please. I really want to hear your questions and I want to answer them seriously. I'm super serious. Okay, so love me and subscribe me as a friend. I'll see you soon. Enjoy your rest of the summer holidays. Bye!